Hello, dear friends. Before starting, I'd like to thank you very much. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for supporting me, for sharing my videos on different sites. Whatever social network I look at, my videos are here, my videos are there. All thanks to you, because it is you who share them, distribute them, and thus on YouTube we have already collected about 115,000 views on some videos. And this is a very cool indicator of the fact that we are beginning to gradually return to the previous course. Since you like the idea of plastic battles, I decided to dedicate today's video to them as well. The ideas are very cool, useful, and I hope you like them, so go ahead. So, for the first idea, we need a rod and one plastic bottle, preferably with a neck as narrow as possible. First of all, cut off the top part. Insert into the handle and with the help of a heat gun and a gas burner we thoroughly wind up the plastic bottle. With a gas burner you need to be careful because you can overheat the plastic on an open flame. As a result, we get this wonderful box built right into the handle of the rod. I want to note that not all rods from the factory have unscrewing plug where you can put, for example, weights or hooks, so if you have a simpler rod, you can easily make yourself a device like this. For the next idea, we will need a screwdriver or a drill, a small plastic bottle. I will use 0.33 liter from the mineral water. You will also need a hose and a drill bit. This plastic bottle has a lead with a dispenser. This is very cool because it will be much easier for us to connect the holes to it. To do this, simply take a step drill and expand the hole. In the lower part of the bottle, we make a hole of a slightly smaller diameter. As a result, we get a small vacuum suction pump like this. Now, if you need to pour some toxic liquid, oil or gasoline from one container to another, you will no longer need to suck with the mouth and thus accidentally swallow the liquid. All you need to do is insert the hose. Well then, in order to start the process of transfusion, push the bottle, hold the hole, let it go. As you can see, the process has begun. And voila! So, let's try again. Squeeze the bottle, close the hole, now align it and release. Let's move on to the next idea. To do this, we need a 5 or 9 liter plastic bottle. The idea is very simple but very useful. To do this, we just need to cut off a small window at the top of the bottle. This idea will help you out if you need to fill a bucket of water, but in your home or garage, faucet is too low. All we have to do is to insert the bottle, turn on the tap, insert the bucket, and voila! So, if you need to connect the hose to a sump tube, and the hose is much larger in diameter, then a plastic cap will help you. To do this, take the lid from under a plastic bottle of any diameter, drill a hole in the center for the diameter of the tube. We push the hose through the hole, As you can see, the hose has narrowed evenly. Now insert a plastic or metal tube, and as you can see, it doesn't go any further because there's a narrowing. 
In order to pull the hose off the tube, we simply need to move the cap. And thus, we get a reliable mount like this. As you can see, the difference in diameters is significant. But despite of this, we still achieve the desired result. Well, today's video came to the end. If anyone asks why I do this, just for a bright photo. Because, unfortunately, there is nothing else on YouTube right now. So, thank you very much for your attention. Be happy, healthy. Bye-bye.